makeup class. Today we will be learning about the spoil system and identifying the Pendleton Act of 1883 and its reforms to the federal bureaucracy and explaining how it changed the system of many rules that bureaucrats must follow today. The spoil system came about after presidents rewarded loyal party members and family and friends with government jobs. The term spoils was derived from the phrase to the victory belong the spoils. The bureaucracy became a place to reward loyal party leaders with federal jobs, a practice known as patronage. The patronage system became the spoil system. The history of the patronage system began with Andrew Jackson. He promised his supporters with government positions in return for political support. At the beginning of his administration, he had removed 919 officials approximately 10% of all positions. By late 1860s, citizens wanted a change. However, their appeals were crushed by Ulysses Grant. The problem with the spoil system was that it nominated people based on the relationship with the president and or high-ranking officials, not smarts or experience. So basically, the government rewarded its supporters with government jobs. Reformers called for candidate appointments based on merit, skill, and experience. In 1870, Congress passed a law that authorized the president to create rules and regulations for a civil service. In 1881, a man by the name of Charles Gatou insisted that President James Garfield should appoint him to a political office. When Garfield denied his request several times, Gatou shot and killed him. The call for civil service and a merit system intensified, so in 1883, Congress passed the Pendleton Service Act to prevent the constant reward to loyal party members. This law ultimately created the merit system. This created competitive written exams for many job applicants and a bipartisan civil service commission to oversee the process and prevent officers from requiring federal employees to contribute to political campaigns. Initially, few jobs were covered under the law, but it allowed the president to transfer jobs and their current holders into the system, which gave the holder a permanent job. By 1900, most federal jobs were handled through civil service and the spoils system was limited to only very senior positions. The separation between the political activity and the civil service was made stronger with the Hatch Act of 1939, which prohibited federal employees from engaging in many political activities. From this, the bureaucratic system became stocked with qualified experts dedicated to their federal jobs. Thank you for sticking with me and learning about the spoil system in the Pendleton Act of 1883.